You know, when I was a young policeman, I used to think these chiefs and command staff people were really, really smart to get where they're at. And then later I realized they're just idiots. Good afternoon and welcome to Law and Life. I'm your lawyer, Patrick McGinn, and I'm your best friend at your worst time. Today we have the story of Deputy Cartersville, Georgia, Deputy Police Chief Jason DePrima. He was arrested in Polk County for solicitation of prostitution and he later bonded out on $500 bond. Now, if you don't know where Polk County is, Polk County is just west of Orlando or Orange County. And the sheriff in Polk County is famous for doing prostitution stings. They take out online ads, deputies take out online ads, and they entice people to uh, hire prostitutes and meet with them. And of course, when they do, they get arrested, like the chief here. So let's hear more about his story. The chief was in Orlando, which is the next county over to Polk County, on a polygraph training workshop. He contacted a prostitute. He got scared the first night and contacted her again, told her a story about how he got ripped off by another prostitute the night before. And he agreed to pay $120 for one half hour with this prostitute, who was a detective. So he shows up for the meet with the detective who he thinks is a prostitute and he's driving a DEA vehicle. I wonder if they towed the vehicle or they let DEA come pick it up. Uh, he had $180 in a multi-pack of white claw with him. These, these guys are just stupid. I mean, how, how much stupid can you get? The Polk County Sheriff Grady Judge held a press conference and said, this guy lost his three. He says, come on, Polk County Sheriff Grady Judge and Judd had a press conference, and he says, You just want to go, come on, man. Have you lost the last three brain cells, or do you just have cabbage for brains? Another great quote by Sheriff Grady Judd, one of Florida's famous sheriffs. The chief has been placed on administrative leave with the Cartersville Police Department pending an internal investigation. He's been with the department since 1996 and has served as deputy chief since 2015. He is also a graduate of the FBI National Academy. Sheriff Judge says if all else fails, he can write a book called How to Ruin Your Career in Three Easy Steps. You, you just got to wonder what goes through these people's brains. I mean, come on. How, how can you even... How can you even bring yourself to do this? You're a deputy police chief, my God. Anyway, he looks a lot like Opie, a grown-up Opie, doesn't he? That's his picture up there. Anyway, the chief, the deputy chief, his career is probably pretty much over, even though solicitation of prostitution is a misdemeanor. Uh, he's just... Anyway. I'm at a loss for words for this guy. Anyway, if you're ever in Polk County and you want to answer one of those ads, chances are it's, it's a deputy. They do, they do those things all the time, and they're always busting people. They always bust cops, lawyers. I think they got a judge one time. Um, always getting Disney employees. And they, cut, they say the, the operations are to cut down on the uh, patronage of the prostitutes, but also to identify people involved in human trafficking, which I understand is a big problem over in the Orlando area. It's a big problem everywhere, but it's particularly a problem over there. So anyway, don't be like the deputy chief here. Use your brain when you're out traveling, especially if you're traveling in a DEA vehicle and you're on police business. Thank you for joining me. If you like this type, oh, thanks to Brian for sending me this article too. And thanks for joining me here on Law and Life. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe and keep those articles coming.